Men want to get something out of them, so they're going to sweet talk them. They can't be honest with them because they're not going to get no box. What's good, YouTube? Today we got a uh, Fresh and Fit podcast, man. Look, bro, like, I've been hearing so much about it, and I watched a few of them, man, and <laughs> I kind of, hey, look, I, I kind of kind of fuck with it a little bit, man. So, look, bro, um, I'm finna just get my honest opinion on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Real nigga Tom, like, not finna, I'm finna not, not worrying about nobody else's um opinion, bro. Damn, I just left the gym, so I'm a little sweaty, but I'm just, I just wanted to react to it, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're finna jump right into it, man. Fresh and fit. Podcast. A 32-year-old bimbo kept showing her attitude. Let's do it. Can you get out your feelings for two seconds? <laughs> a woman doesn't deserve any man. She's got to earn that man. Not just you. All right. <laughs> First, all, off top. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. You have just like we have to just like we have to earn, you know what I'm saying, a female's um Tom. She has to earn us too, man. It shouldn't be just a one way street. You feel me? Like, that's real nigga shit. Like, I, I'm i just saying, that's real nigga time, bro. Like, you don't get special treatment just because you're a female, just, just because you look good. Nah, you gotta earn my time too. Real nigga time. I, 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 I agree. Any woman. That's the reality. Like, I don't know why women ent feel entitled to a good man. Man. You, you, you don't. You don't deserve anything. Look at them. They look lost. Shorty, the black you know, shorty on, on the left looking like, bro, it's yeah. facts. I agree with you. Men I have, have to earn their place. status. Here's the difference, ladies. Men have to earn their status. Women have to earn their men. Facts. That work for the status. Facts. That's how it goes. You're fighting for his last name, not the other way around. Oh, my God. I think that they're entitled to, like, a high-value man with money. and he's. <laughs> I love, bro, I love Myron because dude articulates that shit so perfectly, bro. So perfectly. It's like... Bro, like, <laughs> you working for my last name, you know what I'm saying? Not the other way around, I don't, I don't get yours. And in some, in some instances, that it, that does go like that. But for the most part, a large majority of the part, no. Like, you're getting my last name. Facts. He, facts. The nigga not lying, bro. Gonna be submissive to me and listen to me. No. That's no. just not the way the world works. Facts. A man that makes money, with all due respect, you know, and I guess I can use you as an example here. He's not gonna be submissive to a woman. That's a dancer at Club Eleven. He just ain't, bro. Facts. That's real. He ain't gonna do it. That Facts. It is. You don't want to really want. Yeah, you won't. You won't respect you him anyway. Wanna. You're gonna be like, "Fuck you. You're a bum. You're a bitch. You let me believe <laughs> you." No woman wants a man that's gonna be a pushover. Facts. And I know that, and I know that because I've been a nice guy slash pushover. Like no woman wants that, and I'm sure not all. I can't speak for the whole. You know, what I'm saying the whole. You know, what I'm saying body of women, but for a large body of it, a good percentage. No female wants to push over. Hell no. Nah. Like, yeah, no, no female wants a damn push over, bro. That's facts, bro. Come on now. We're not finna sit here and cap like, like, no, no female wants a push over, bro. No female wants that. I, I agree with Myron, bro. Like, I really do, bro. That's a fact. And never mind, never mind, never mind. I can say that. I'm gonna show. Women that always said that he's a push over. No, no. No. That's basically what I'm hearing. No, no. You have selective hearing. No, you know, that's show. not true. That's not true. What if this successful man... Repeat exactly what I said then. If you heard and interpret everything I said correctly. What did I say? Exactly. Basically, you're saying that a man's uh, ego is being compromised for dating a woman that works at 11. I'm saying a successful man that makes a lot of money is not going to be submissive to a woman that's a dancer. Hell no. Because well, he doesn't have to be. Because okay. he doesn't have to be. He's not going to be submissive to a dancer because he doesn't have to be. He has options. So why the hell would he be submissive to a female, that's to, a, to a dancer that's showing her body off? Which is nothing wrong with it. If you want to do that, do, do what you do. What I'm saying is no man that's making a lot of money, a high a higher earner, is going that has options, is going to settle and be submissive to you. First off, the man is not supposed to be submissive any fucking ways. So second off, why, if he has money, why would he submit to a stripper? No. He already don't like what you do in any damn way. He's not going to say it, though, because he can't. He can't say it. And you know he can't say it. He can, but you're going to hit him with, oh, well, you just insecure. You, just, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get hit with that. So why would he say it? I understand completely what Myron's saying, bro. Like, this is no cap, bro. Like, this is no cap. I see exactly what he's saying, bro. 
Most men will not. Most men in your eyes. That's fair. That's fair. In your opinion. I mean... Okay. You guys are facts, so fine. Fact, so fine. You, you want, do you really want a submissive man? And if he came across, you wouldn't want him anyway. Exactly, well, bro. Man, Females want? gonna say... I want a... Not all ...man that is comprehensive, that can have a conversation. Women don't know what they want, bro. Joe, <laughs> Fresh. Okay, sure. Want, that's, that's I'm delusional, remember? What do you guys want? You just said it. earlier... I did everything for he you. already said, what do you want, Fresh? Yeah, totally. Fresh, what do you want? We, we measured earlier. We told y'all already what we want. We told you guys what we want. We want the facts out, try and make me delusional again. Yeah, well, said it earlier, too. Consider it. Consider it. Mm-hmm. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. And is a masculine. Has those tricks of a... But those are requirements. They don't have to be good looking. They don't have to make a lot of money. That's I think if they're trying very hard and they are giving me what I'm asking for and I'm giving them what they're asking for, that's so chow. That's so chow. That is so chow. That to me is a headache. I would never do that. Yeah, I agree there. But that's just my. Yeah, fuck it. Look, I'm saying I'll smash, but like. Yeah, smash, yeah. I don't want a headache. Yeah. It's a, it's a headache right now. I'll smash, but you know. But at the same time, I'm just saying, consider it feminine, not a headache, and at least on some level can add value. It doesn't have to be. So a girl that'll give you dick, I mean, give you pussy and shut the fuck up. Well, that helps. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, it's like, that's the point of this. I mean, like, personally, like, it's if you're going to be black and white about it, yeah. But I mean, at the same time, it's like, nah, man, she ain't just got to sit there and just do what I say. Like, nah, she ain't got to do that. But I'm just saying, like, to not be a headache, that's that's a big thing for men, most men. Like, peace is a big thing for most men. Like, I'm saying, man, so I understand exactly what they're saying. They a little more, I don't give a fuck about it. Because <laughs> they're not trying to fuck these girls, so they're going to be 110%. And the females, you know what I'm saying, the girls on the panel, they're, they're going to be a little salty. Because it's like, damn, but that's just because they're, never, they, they're not talked to like that because they're used to men you know what I'm saying? They're used to getting what they want to from men. Men want to get something out of them, so they're going to sweet talk them. They can't be honest with them because they're not going to get no box. I, I get that, bro. Like, that's bro, that's a hundred, bro. Like, real nigga time. I, I, I get that. I get that completely, bro. I get it. No, no, but if, so, if she talks... It's a little I, I, different than in a relationship. No, 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 but... Well, y'all are not listening. Y'all are not listening. Y'all are not listening. If you, you, listening. Listening. you, you, you answered that very question you just asked him, you answered already twice. I said I thought that was a good answer. Oh, no, earlier. Hold on. He answered it earlier. This, I, I, I this is scary, though. Hear that exact same thing. No, no, no. That's that's the difference. <laughs> I said earlier. Because here's the thing. Y'all are not. You guys are only hearing. Yeah, I agree. Listening to understand. I agree. No, you're not. Because you guys have asked. They're listening to answer. They're not listening to for comprehension. They're listening to answer. That here's the thing. Yeah. We give you guys a response, and you guys are more interested in how you felt from said response versus listening to what we said. It, it triggered you. So whatever we said doesn't matter anymore. But you know the scary part? This is just a podcast table, and there's so much things going on right now. I can't imagine being with somebody long term in a relationship. That's scary well, to me. Facts. Just, just even now. Yeah, like, like, bro. Because they interjecting. It's like, field? yeah. Imagine if, I'm if you, like you're that. doing this and we just talking. We're not trying that, to get that, nothing out of you. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, like, like the, the, the scary part is that you guys don't even really know what men want. We know exactly what you guys want. I can, I can literally list it off. It, like I know women better, better than they know themselves, but I have to as a man, because as a man, mm. what am I, am I, am I, am I, mm. they're laughing at that fact. But I'm gonna tell you exactly why he said that, and I know what he means when he says that. I know exactly what he means when he says that. Us as men, I'm explaining. Us as men, and not all, but I'm gonna just try to interpret the way I think that he's doing. I'm pretty sure I know, but I'm just saying, let's do it like this. We, in order to get a female, bro, we have to know how they think. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we have to we have to understand, you know what I'm saying? We have to know how, how they think. We have to know because we because we're the pursuers. You know what I'm saying? So we have to know how to approach them, how to do that. Females don't know, ask the average female if they know how to uh, if they know how to pick up a guy. They're not gonna know what the fuck to say. They're not gonna know how to do it. Because they because they, they're always getting approached. So they're not gonna know how to fucking say how to how to pursue a girl. So us guys, we have to know the the, the ins and outs of a female in order to get to her because first off she's not already gonna we already have to pass a fucking barrier of you know what I'm saying a shallow barrier of what does he look like is he tall enough he's making enough money we already have to pass that and then we have to get her attention and keep her attention you know what I'm saying just to get her just to get her time we have to pass that barrier just to get her time so we I see what he's saying we do have to know females 
as men, we have to know females, you know what I'm saying? Because we have to know how to approach them. You have to know how to, you know what I'm saying? Have to, how to, how to talk to them. We got to, we got to know how to don, wine and don them. We got to know how to love them. We got to know how to do all of that. So we have to know a female friend. I get exactly what he's saying, bro. I get it. I promise you, I get it. I get it. I understand exactly. They're looking at him like, bro, that's crazy. But that's real nigga shit, though. Like, I know what he's saying, bro. Like, I get it. I understand what, 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 and here's the thing. Like, I already know. Your responses that you guys have given, mm -hmm. uh, like it's the same thing all the time. We've interviewed more than a thousand women because he's already answered your questions several times. But the difference is that, and it proves my point again, that women don't listen to understand. They listen to get triggered mm -hmm. by feelings and then they respond with said feelings. Yeah, with off of their feelings. I'm not, I'm not, not all females are like that, though. But I will say a large majority of females are like that. But not all, not all. Well, no, you're more concerned about women not, men not judging women for being hoes if they were hoes in the past. That was way before that. And then when he answered, I... But that's relevant to the conversation. I know, I'm just saying, once you answered the, that question, though, what we were talking about before was not, not relevant. When you answered that question, I thought your answer was good, and I thought his answer was good. I have nothing bad to say about anything that you guys answered from that. I thought that they were, they were good qualities. I think you should look for that. I have nothing, like, I'm not, like, you think I'm, like, bashing you, like, ready? No, 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 not at all. It's just that. it's good answer. It's just that. I was genuinely curious. We're, we're, we're listening very close to everything you guys say, but mm -hmm. you guys are not listening very close to anything we're saying. <laughs> it's, very, it's very obvious. I, I want you guys to watch this podcast back and, like, see, the, like, the crazy logic. Because we're, like, explaining the logic to you guys, and, like, you're not, like, understanding. Like, I literally told her, men and women are different. A woman wants a man with a future. She then goes on to describe how she wants a future and why she doesn't want that guy. Continuously proving my point, but then trying to say, I'm different. No, you prove my point that women want a man with a future, and yet you're saying here, no, I'm different. What? <laughs> I agree women want a man with a future. Why should they not? They should. And that's cool. And that's that's cool. Was, that was what I stated. Yeah. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is that men don't necessarily care if a girl has a future like that. Yeah, yeah. men don't. Men don't. Like, think about that. Now, men don't care if because I'm saying that, like, like men don't care about a men don't care about a woman having a future. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause how does how does that future help him? Like, how does that future help help a man? Like, real nigga shit though. Like, think about that. Like, how does a how does a female having a future help a man? No, it doesn't. But a woman can benefit off of a man's future because he's not going to care about providing and provisioning for that woman. He's not gonna care. Why would why 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 would he? He's supposed to do that. Like as men, we're we're innate. Like that's in our innate ability to provide and provision for the female men. The type of shit that men will do for a female is insane. Facts. We're, like y'all are are driving factors. Like you know what I'm saying? A woman is a man's driving factor. He will go to war and he will kill for a woman. Facts. Like oh god, you know what I'm saying? Because he wants to be that for her. He's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> That's real nigga shit, bro. Like, I love that. Let me rewind it, though. I hear you. I just don't understand the logic. I think that's stupid. But they only care if they fucking everybody for the team. So what's stupid about men having this preference, though? Yeah, like, it's what's stupid, stupid about that? No, having a preference? Is that what you said? I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Like, yeah, yeah, you said, what's stupid about men having that preference? No. Having a preference is not stupid. I just think that scenario, like, why is that the only thing that matters? There's so much more that... Like, it's just that... Men's standards are not respected. Women's are. Yeah. A, a woman's motives is always put ahead. Like, uh, yes. I want a man to success. I want a guy that makes money. Blah, yes. blah, blah. No one cares. And no one cares. But then if a man was to say, I don't want no fat girl. Now, now we're fat phobic. Now we're body shaming. What? Lord Jesus, if I haven't had a fucking one night stand, there's something, not there's something wrong with me, but I'm saying, who am I? You know? I'm not freaking Mary, Mary, Mary herself, okay? I'm telling you that I have done, you know, I'm 32, I can count my, my yeah, old, yeah. hands on yeah, my yeah. hands. <laughs> Why do you that, say that? You know? Yeah, you're old, yeah. If you're an asshole, dog. If you're not out there in the streets and you are that different type of girl and you are successful, you're cute enough, like, you check a lot of boxes and sometimes that's even a red flag for guys because it's like, you're too much of this. You're too much of that. So I true. need you to kind of. I can like, hold you. I hold the little girl in the streets up there with you at home. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. What did he just say? Um, <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what he said. It's um, just, if, are you just talking shit back there? I can't hear you. I'm Sorry. saying. Potentially. I rather deal with a girl in the streets than deal with a girl at, with you at home. Damn. Why? You don't even know me. Yeah, because you're annoying that shit right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just talk with people all the time. You know, you slamming your words, but it's cool. 
carry on. Uh, Damn. I think what he means Chris. is that when you speak, no one really inter- interrupts you. But, but like, then when we speak, when we speak you interrupt. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You've done it the entire night. I just have a lot to say. My bad. Um, I just can't hear him, so. I ain't gonna lie. She has been interrupting this whole time. You've been extremely. You interject a lot. The really bad podcast etiquette. I told you guys from the beginning, one mic at a time, please. And yet you guys still can't really let people finish. But that's fine. It's, it is what it is. It's your first time on a pod, right? Um, I'll say for the chat. So. Yeah, yeah. The chat is very annoyed by it. Um, <laughs> does someone else have something? Okay. All right. Fantastic. It's always when I say, hey, and wants to talk. <laughs> I see, like, how people would probably hate Myron because, in a sense, he comes off as an asshole. But he only comes off as an asshole because he'd be right. And he he's always right. It's just about right on a lot of things. Not everything. Some shit he'd be wrong about. But, I mean, for the most part, Myron don't be saying shit. He be saying facts. Like, he, and he has, the like, like, the statistics down to prove it. Like, it just, the, the way he be coming off, <laughs> dude be, like, asshole-ish. I can see how females be hating but shit, that's normal for dudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, people say I come off as assholes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still giving you facts, though. You know what I'm saying? You can't argue the facts. And that's really what be Myron's clear-cut point. He'd be like, bro, this shit facts. You feel me? <laughs> so I get it, bro. I actually yeah, like, I actually like reacting to this. I think I'm just trying to react to more questions. Oh, God, what the hell? Uh, uh, Big Middle 20 Bucks says, bro, these are college-educated three or fours, and yet are the slowest three or four in the show has been seen. Yes. <laughs> got these girls in a dark web uh, way to start the week. Uh, Man. Men are valued by what they can provide, and women are valued by their chastity. Don't hate the game, ladies. You learn how to play it, and that's what I was trying to tell you. Because you're saying, well, well, not really. You said earlier you can't com- you can't compare a woman's body count to a man's income, and I, I was saying yes, you absolutely can because the sexes have different interests when they deal with the opposite gender. Mm-hmm. I understand that's what you're saying. I was just trying to just, argue it. I wasn't arguing. I was just. Well, yeah. you're saying it doesn't make sense because you can't compare the two, and I'm saying you absolutely can. Because male value and female value are two different things. Two totally different things. I'm not going to talk anymore because apparently I am. I mean, I'm done with my point. Did you have something to that? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so I don't think you can refute the argument. Male no, value and female value are two totally speak. different things. Like, cause, and I could go on about that topic. I can go on about that topic. I, I'm done with the video. I'm going to just stop it right there. But I can go. <laughs> that's the last thing, and I'm going to wrap this up. I personally feel like I could go on about that topic because I feel like female value, uh, merch, I feel like female value is what since since the men are the consumers us then we dictate the female value it's like a female is going to dictate a man's value right okay then so let's go off of that i mean right yeah so i'm saying like to a man a female is high value whenever she can be i'm saying this is just what i this is just what i've researched you know what i'm saying i've done i've heard you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just go off of that because i personally agree too like a female's value when it comes to a man is how she can be a good wife how she could be you know saying a mother to their child how she could be compliant how she could be submissive how she could be you know what i'm saying like that's like that's that is considered a a high value woman to men now what a high value man is to a woman i can't speak on because i'm not a woman but from what i've heard you know what i'm saying just um honestly it's kind of shallow like you know what i'm saying like i ain't gonna lie like it's kind of shallow like you know what i'm saying like that's just that's just what i think like not all females let me go and say it not all females but it's kind of it's kind of facts like you know let me let me stop it like i'm gonna i'm gonna just be real like it's kind of it's kind of shallow like how tall is he how much money does, how much money does he make how big is his pe- penis? You know what I'm saying? This is things that I've heard. Like I said, not all females are like this. But I feel like that's kind of shallow because you can't control two of them. You can't control how big your penis is and you can't control how tall you are. Only thing you control is how much money you make. And you know what I'm saying? What if you just ugly as shit? Like what if you just wasn't blessed to look good? You know what I'm saying? Like, But these are the things that males are judged off of. And females are too. So don't get me wrong. Females are judged off it too. But not near as bad as men are. That's real nigga shit, bro. But... Hey, man, I like reacting to, you know what I'm saying, Fresh and Fit. Man, I'm going to start reacting to them a lot more. Steph is Cold is another one, man. Like, <clears throat> uh, Abba, Ava, and Preach, I'm going to react to some, some of that shit, too. Like, I fuck with Pat podcast shit, so I'm going to definitely start reacting to it. But this video is long as hell, man, so I'm going to let y'all go. Um, This is Bolo and TV. Paisley Rose, Daddy loves you so, so much, so, so much. And, yeah, see you guys later.